questions are with today's practice. I think Jock has been talking about just like getting back to that concentration. Just what was important for you guys um, in today's practice? Um, just locking in. I think, uh, you know, we had two lighter days um, where guys got to, you know, get in the weight room, take care of their bodies, a um, little bit less on court. So about being professional, um, staying focused. You know, usually you don't get two days like that in the middle of the season. But I think with the with the way the tournament set up, it kind of allowed for that. Did you watch the tournament, some of those games from last night? Oh, yeah, of course. Um, no, nah, I mean, all the competition, how competitive it was? I mean, I think that that's exactly what, uh, you know, you like. I think if you look at the Indiana team, a lot of those guys haven't really gotten paid like that. So that 500000 is is big. And, uh, you know, you saw it in, in the passion, the way they kind of, you know, were on the court at the end of the game when they won and all that stuff. So that was cool to see. You guys have played some really strange games with this Atlanta team. Um, I know you've tried everything that there is to try uh, in dealing with Trey. But, I mean, what kind of ways, I guess, can you go about at least slowing him? Yeah, I, mean, I, think the, I think the main thing is just not fouling. You know, I mean, that, uh, that allows him to get in the rhythm. And obviously, he's a great player. He's going to make shots. And, you know, when, when guys have volume like that, like, you never stop them completely. You know, like, if a guy's going to shoot 25 times or, or whatever, like, you're not going to hold him to zero. Like, he's too good for that. Um, but it's about limiting his opportunities, trying to make him inefficient, and, and uh, limit his free throw attempts. You've talked uh, in the past about, I don't know, I don't remember whether you used the term amoeba, but you've talked about how you've had different roles and you've had to fill different roles and you're capable of doing that. It seems like in this season, just from the outside looking in, that you might have had to have done that, kind of switched on the fly as often or as much as you have in any past season, just in terms of lead guard on the ball, no, now we're going to do off the ball, oh, Ben's hurt, now he's on the ball, he's playing 38 minutes, just how have you managed to, I guess, handle these kind of shifting roles constantly? Uh, it's just a credit to my teammates. I think um, we all have a next man up uh, mentality and, and everybody does a good job of filling in uh, for the guys that are out. Um, obviously, you know, we're, we're hopeful Ben comes back soon because obviously we're a better team at full health. Um, we're, we're happy to have Cam Thomas back. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a credit to the collective group um, that everybody's able to uh, adjust. I think Michelle mentioned the other day in Big Tennis, too, that uh, Kevin Alley kind of gave you guys a pretty rousing speech before the game to kind of refocus after that Charlotte loss. I guess, what has he meant just having him on the staff as another another voice who can kind of like, you know, keep it real, if you will? I mean, he's a guy that's played at the highest level, who obviously has won championships. Um, and, and yeah, sometimes you just you need that that other voice, that that kind of stern voice. Um, you know, everybody has uh, the the uncle that might be on them a little bit uh, uh, tougher than, than than your pops, right? And you you kind of tune out your pops sometimes, right? But but your uncle steps in and, and, and keeps you on track. So I think it's kind of that vibe. And and obviously uh, him and JV both have the utmost credibility because they actually played in the league and and have done it at the highest level. You guys are sixth in the league in offense right now. Obviously a team that a lot of people expected to be near the top of the league in defense, maybe maybe struggle on offense. You'd be able to do that with, you know, Nick, Cam, Johnson, and Thomas being out, Ben being out. Just how have, how do you feel you guys have been able to exceed offensive expectations with all those moving pieces? I mean, shoot, I, I just think uh, the guys that we do have playing, Royce, Doe, um, some of the best vets and three-point shooters in the league, I think uh, – their ability to adjust has been phenomenal. Um, obviously, uh, you know, CT and Lonnie have been two of the most explosive scorers uh, in the league. Um, per, per per 36, Mikhail um, is playing his way into an all-star uh, type of conversation if we can be fortunate enough to keep winning. And uh, yeah, I mean, Nick, Nick, and, Nick and Ben obviously haven't really been able to play together, but overall their, their rim pressure, uh, uh, you know, with Nick's roles and, and with Ben's speed, uh, really uh, help us out a ton. So I think that's how the offense has been able to be uh, so potent so far. Has it been helpful for you as a guard just having this wealth of shooters? I mean, I think you may have said it before, but just having guys like Royce, Doe, Cam, both Cams. But for you, how much easier is it knowing you can hit those guys and any one of them can go off shooting the ball? Oh, man, it's a, it's a great luxury on this team to have, you know, two dudes that can get 40 any night and McHale and, and Cam Thomas, and you have – you know, three uh, marksmen um, in Doe, Royce, and, and Cam Johnson. I mean, really four if you count Armani Brooks, but he don't really play. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's just 
it, it, it's a luxury to have, and, and obviously all these guys are professionals and, and play the game extremely uh, uh, hard, and, and you know, it's a credit to the, to, to the collective and being able to play together. Spencer, you're very vocal about having been back and like seeing the offseason work that he kind of put in. Have you gotten a chance to talk to him since just the medical update of him being oh, yeah. potentially you know, waiting two more weeks to be reevaluated again? Um, no, I haven't really got a chance to talk to him about uh, the specific uh, injury this time. Well, not since the medical update, which was only like two days ago. Um, but obviously, we feel for him, right? Like, ha having been injured myself before, like, it's never it's never fun to, to be on the sideline and not be able to play and not be able to compete. Um, and obviously, this is something that we've all been doing since we were kids, and, and it's a big piece of our lives and it's something we love to do. So uh, when it's taken away from you through no fault of your own and, and knowing how hard he works, it's, it's, it's a trying time. How are you? Uh at 30, how are you a smarter player now than you were, whatever, five years ago, four years ago, six years ago? Uh, I mean, I think everything in life, uh, if you're dedicated to it and if you're open and, and, and humble enough, then, then you learn, you evolve every experience, right? Kind of like a little baby computer, right? Like you're going to take in information and you're going to try to continue to learn and grow. Um, I mean, again, I guess... Uh, just uh, wisdom of age, right? Like, I don't know, we talk about me being 30 a lot. So, can I head to the old folks home in a second, I guess. Well, I, are, you a, are you a big believer in plus minus as a, as a stat? Um, what do you think is rubbish? This, this reminds me of when we were 8 and 18 in 2019 or so, or 18. And then we went on that like 9-1 running streak. You know, and then that team had a had a chance, and then ended up making the playoffs. During that 9-1 winning streak, um, the plus minus and the impact on the game and all the other stuff that you're referencing in the advanced stats pointed to somebody having an extreme impact on that 10-game stretch. Even though you know sometimes we have revisionist history on that season and, and what saved that season, um, so it looks very familiar and. and uh, uh, of that, and I think that was kind of the nostalgia that some of me and Eli were talking about before we got here. That's just some stats for y'all. But uh, overall, I mean, again, like this is a collective effort, and you know, we're we're excited to be able to be in the hunt, be in the fight with everybody that's been hurt, and being able to kind of, you know, round into round into form.